Have you done? Another episode of Sarah being clumsy. I nearly dropped the entire product <laughs> Oh man. I, I hope this is not bad for the skin. Oh, anyway. Holding a glass of urine. Hey. <laughs> This is just like one long process of me just not knowing anything <laughs> So this is some pretty bad rust. We're gonna try and basically uh, use this wire brush to send it down. Um, and then Christian went to get some wire wheel that we can attach to our drill and also send it down. You need a drill, you need a wire brush, put it on and get that grinding going. perfect but it's definitely metal now we've grinded the rust most of the rust inside the van to bare metal and now we're just grooming cleaning the dirt and then i'm gonna apply this little bad boy isopropyl alcohol make sure there's no dust before we apply any treatment like the rust converter or the hammerite metal paint yeah you managed to open the bottle yeah just clean it off with a cloth the funny thing with alcohol is obviously it evaporates really quickly so <laughs> If you haven't got a pretty great memory, like me, you do something, you look elsewhere, you look back, the alcohol is dried, and you think, ah, did I do that bit? I don't know. That stinks, doesn't it? I think this is the wrong side of the mask. How do you put the mask? I, I mean, I'm just... Oh, gonna... you put it on running head. So this is called car rust, and it converts the rust. <laughs> yeah, nice. It turns blue. <sighs> this is all I've seen in on YouTube videos. Tile van, well, where there is rust is covered. Your cap is not put properly. Amazing. Today is day two of rust removal. Are you still looking at yourself in the camera? Are you looking at the actual camera? Yeah, okay. There's so many cameras. That one. Yeah, you're putting it's your there. finger on the yeah. cap. So yeah, today is day two of rust removal. So, so far we've treated the most of the rust inside with the rust converter. So the plan is to apply um, some red oxide primer and then some hammerite metal paint just to make it all look pretty. This is the state of our rust. It's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Turn I think this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, turn black. Yes, turn it all black. Ready for some red oxide priming? Yes. We're using this bad boy, which is a primer that you apply before putting any kind of paint. And it has this really nice red color to it. It's like we've committed a murder. Uh, this is an orange. Yeah, orange blood. So we've covered all the little surface rust in this blood orange red oxide. I feel like we're doing an art piece. Kind of like it. Yeah. Calling it. What's that disease where you get red spots on your face? Uh, I have no idea. Everybody has it like at one point in their lives. Oh, we can call it, um, call this forest fire. There are orange bits in uh, evergreen. Ugh. Next step, after applying all the red oxide, we're gonna get some fiberglass, that thing, onto the, like, the big holes um, in tile van. I mean, this is the first time I'm doing this, but this is what the glass fiber mat looks like. And then we've got 
you've got resin and a hardener as well in there uh, that you mix and then you kind of apply that solution onto the fiberglass and then onto the hole and it covers the hole basically that's all I know really first step is just <laughs> going through this so now we need to just start cutting to size but yeah do you remember the first layer has to be smaller than the area then the second layer has to be the size of the area it's a learning process ah got hair <laughs> this is stressful once we've done the solution it needs to be used within five minutes it says measure out resin into the breaker supplied and add hardener at a ratio of one pea size hardener per 10 millimeters of resin. So I don't even know whether I'm at... Let's just go to 50, Teddy. Why you not? look so smart though. <laughs> you look like a proper yeah. chemist. <laughs> Holding a glass of urine. So we cover the areas. So it says, using the brush, apply an even coat of the activated resin and then carefully apply a layer of the fiberglass mat. very smart thing of not listening to the manufacturer's instructions because we should wait 20 minutes apparently for the fiberglass to cool this stuff uh, apparently warmed off a bit but if we do that then all our paintbrush and stuff like that will be gunked up and we don't have the acetone <laughs> looks like you're about to play paintball Rather than where you squeeze it until something comes out. Oh, uh, uh. today um we started at around 12 and it's now four time goes by when you're having fun yes okay. you know the phrase when when you buy a hammer everything starts to look like a nail we bought a crowbar now everything starts to look like something which can be crowbarred open this is not going it's <laughs> probably not the right way to go around this but if it works it works absolutely Ruining this. Although it's surprisingly difficult actually. There we go. There we, there go. we go. Success. Who, who doubted me? Got my brush, got my mask, got the paint, got the paint. Hammer and diapering. Ready to go. Let's do it. the paint has now pretty much dried up and that was our second coat um, and it's looking fresh. 